Dear friends, those who keep cats at home, please do not ignore this video. Otherwise, the same could happen to them. Astaghfirullah. Dear friends of Islamic streams, Assalamu alaikum. Friends, although cats are not considered halal in Islam, they are counted among the clean and pure animals. There is no harm in keeping cats that do not belong to anyone. In Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, there is a hadith narrated by Abdullah bin Umar that the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, said a woman was punished because of a cat. This woman had tied up the cat until it died. She neither fed it nor gave it water nor set it free to eat the insects of the earth. Because of this, the woman entered the fire of hell due to the cat. Dear friends, in today's video, we will share the Prophet Muhammad's PBUH sayings about cats and whether keeping a cat as a pet is permissible. We will also provide more information related to cats and tell you the possible harms of keeping a cat at home. Therefore, to know and watch all of this, stay with us until the end of the video. Before proceeding, please confirm that you have subscribed to our channel, Islamic Streams. If not, subscribe now and click the bell icon so that you receive notifications for our upcoming videos on time. So, let's begin today's video officially. It is said that humans domesticated cats around 10,000 years ago. Cats are among the most common pets nowadays. Several species of African wildcats are considered ancestors of domestic cats. It is believed that cats were initially domesticated because they hunted mice, and even today, they are kept for this purpose where grain is stored. Later, cats were also kept as companions and pets. Friends, domestic cats can have long or short hair based on which their types and breeds are determined. Let's share with you a hadith that mentions cats. It is proven from narrations that if a cat eats from your food or drinks water, it does not make the food or drink impure. In Abu Dawood, there is a hadith that a woman sent harissa, a type of food, to Aisha, R.A., who was praying. She signaled to place it down and a cat came and ate from it. After the prayer, Aisha, R.A., ate from the same place where the cat had eaten and said, Indeed, the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, said, This cat is neither impure nor filthy, it is among those that come and go around you. Friends, Aisha, R.A., narrates that she saw the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, performing ablution with the leftover water of a cat. Similarly, in Sunan Ibn Majah, and as narrated by Imam Bukhari, R.A., there is an incident involving Kab bin Malik's daughter, who mentioned that Abu Qatada, R.A., her father-in-law, once came to her house. She had poured water in a vessel for him to perform ablution. A cat approached wanting to drink, so Abu Qatada, R.A., tilted the vessel towards the cat to let it drink. The daughter observed this, and Abu Qatada, R.A., asked, my niece, are you surprised by this? She replied, yes. He said, the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, said, this cat is neither impure nor filthy. It is among those that come and go around you. As for keeping cats at home, scholars state that it is permissible. There is no harm in keeping a cat because it is neither harmful nor impure. It is widely known that there is no harm in it. Rather, keeping a cat at home is beneficial because it eats insects, snakes and mice that may appear. It is not impure because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentioned that it is not impure. Friends, the nickname of Abu Huraira, R.A., was given because he was kind to cats and kept them as pets. He became so famous by this nickname that people forgot his real name. There was so much disagreement among scholars about his name that there are nearly 30 different opinions. Therefore, if it is proven that Abu Huraira, R.A., a distinguished companion, kept cats and the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, did not consider them impure, it shows that keeping a cat at home is permissible. Those who like it are correct, but it is essential to ensure that the cat is well fed and not mistreated in any way. Friends, we will tell you another benefit of keeping a cat at home, as stated by experts. According to experts, cats love human touch, and humans also enjoy it. It is recommended to cuddle and sleep with your pet cat. This will not only make your cat happy, but also help you relieve depression. Therefore, you can keep a cat to help reduce your depression. Now let us share some more interesting and useful information about cats based on expert research. This information is intriguing and surprising for everyone, but especially helpful for those who own or love cats. 
According to experts, the average lifespan of a cat is between 13 to 17 years, but many cats live up to 20 years. Two cats never communicate by meowing at each other. When you hear a cat meow, it is addressing you. Similarly, let's discuss some interesting facts about a cat's whiskers. It is commonly believed that whiskers help a cat maintain its balance, similar to how horns are perceived in horned animals. However, experts say this belief is entirely incorrect. A cat's whiskers function as sensors, detecting distances, spaces and the size of objects, even in the dark. They help a cat figure out whether it can fit into tight spaces, like a mouse hole. According to a report, a cat's whiskers can gauge the width of narrow openings. If a cat wants to go into a narrow place, its whiskers will inform it whether it can fit through without getting stuck. Experts state that the different positions of a cat's whiskers indicate its mood. If the whiskers are relaxed and drooping downward, the cat is calm and resting. If they are stretched out to the sides, the cat is defensive, angry or scared. If the whiskers are pushed forward, the cat is curious, hunting or in a playful mood. Therefore, experts emphasize that since a cat's whiskers are a functional organ, they should never be cut, as this would be equivalent to blinding the cat. Dear friends, we hope you liked this informative video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with your friends. Before leaving, ensure you have subscribed to our channel, asterisk Islamic Streams asterisk. If not, subscribe now and click the bell icon so that you receive notifications for our upcoming videos on time. O oh Allah, the All-Hearing, the All-Knowing, the All-Wise, the Almighty, I ask you by your mercy that encompasses everything, by your power through which you control all things, and by your generosity that you provide for me sustenance and wealth in abundance. O oh Allah, enrich me with halal, permissible wealth, and bless my earnings. Grant me success in all my endeavors and make my path easy and prosperous. O Allah, the Provider, Al Razak, the Sustainer, Al Mukit, and the Most Generous, Al Karim, bless me with lawful income that brings peace and contentment to my heart. O Allah, protect me from debts and poverty and provide me with the means to support my family and those in need. Increase my wealth in ways that please you and are beneficial for me in this life and the hereafter. O Allah, I ask you for barakah, blessings, in my wealth, my health and my time. Make me among those who are grateful for your blessings and use their wealth in ways that please you. O Allah, do not let my heart be attached to wealth, but rather make it a means for me to do good and attain success. O Allah, grant me success in my work and in my business. Open for me the doors of your bounties and provisions. Make every effort I put in a means of increasing my sustenance and fulfilling my needs. Protect me from the trials of this world and the tests of poverty. O oh Allah, make me a source of benefit to others and bless me to spend my wealth in your way. Grant me the wisdom to make sound financial decisions and protect me from losses and hardships. O oh Allah, grant me success in all my affairs and make my path easy filled with your blessings. O oh Allah, enrich me beyond my needs and protect me from misfortune and losses. Grant me contentment and satisfaction with what you have given me and save me from greed and ungratefulness.